What's going on, everybody? Eric Borassi here, and today I want to teach you one of my favorite songs ever from, for sure, my favorite album of all time, and that's Narcolepsy by Third Eye Blind from their 1997 self-titled album. And this song just still gets me to this day. All these years later, we're in a weird tuning. Kevin Cadigan uses lots of weird tunings, lots of open D add nine type tunings. And that's really what we have here. The, the one difference between the open D add nine tuning and this tuning is we're gonna turn tune our low E up a whole step to an F sharp, okay? So we got F sharp, A, D. So A and D are normal. G gets tuned down a half step to F sharp. <clears throat> B gets tuned down a whole step to A and E gets to stay in place. So you're in standard tuning, but your low E goes up to F sharp, your G goes down to F sharp, and your B goes down to A. Listen to how great this sounds. Ooh, that's nice. And that's our first chord for the intro of Narcolepsy. All right, so what's happening is you do a down strum with all the strings open. And then you do another kind of half-hearted strum. And then you're gonna do an, uh, an up strum with your first, or with one of your fingers, probably the, the ring finger on the 12th fret of the first string. You're not gonna strum everything, but maybe just the first three or four strings. And then you're gonna do another up strum, but move your finger to the second string 12th fret and leave all the other strings open. Very important that you hit those with up strums because they're in between the beats. And if you do them with downs, you're not gonna get the feel of the beat quite as well. So down, down, up, up, up on the open. So we got down, down, up, up, up. Um, And then we're gonna hold down the first four strings, seventh fret with a bar, and try not to hit string six, try to only hit the first five strings, and we're gonna go up down. So we've got 12, 12, up, up, down on seven. So, and then down, up, down, up after that. So starting from the seven, we've got up, down, down, up, down, up. And probably on that last up, that's really a transition back to the, the open, but you could, you could leave it in place. So we got down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up. I think that's the hardest part of this is getting that strum pattern. Really, everything else is pretty easy. Open, O, 12, 12, O, 7, 7. And then we do the exact same thing, but we substitute 12s with 17s. And that's the whole intro to Narcolepsy. All right, so then in between the first two verses, we have a little break, and Orion Salazar does some amazing bass work, which I never even noticed until a year or two ago, or it was about three years ago, when I saw Orion and Kevin perform this song live, this entire album live, in fact, under the name XEB. When I saw them do that, I, I was like, oh, those are not guitar parts, those are bass lines. Orion is is really uh, underrated as, as a bass player. He doesn't get talked about a whole lot, um, but he you'll just listen to what he's doing, because Kevin, in between verses one and two, just does. And there's some cool slidey things that Orion's doing during that part. So for the second half, you can think of it as the second half of verse one or verse two, um, you're back to the intro main part. Now for the chorus, I try to keep awake. We've got this. Okay, there it is, there it is. So uh, we've got two, three, four, what a weird shape, right? But we're in a weird tuning. So two, three, four on strings, four, three, and two, and then open fifth string and open first string. Um, up, 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 
try to keep awake. And on wake, you would think you transition to the third chord there, but you actually don't. I try to keep awake. I try to swim beneath. Right? Um, it, in my mind, I want to go. I try to keep awake. I try to swim beneath. And honestly, if you do that, that's okay. But what they're actually doing is... You're going to hit this bar on, on two, three times. So you've got open two, 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 two. Right? So down, down, up, and then switch down, down, up, and then make the change to this chord. And you'll just add that two and then take it off on the second string. Okay, so that's what's happening in the in the chorus. And then when we do our build, we're gonna do this weird little chord at fifth fret on string six, to sixth fret on the next string, to seventh fret on the next string. And then if you've got the reach for it, add the pinky on nine on the third string halfway through. Like that. And then slide up to eight and nine and leave everything else open. And you want to kind of crescendo, so start small and build. On each of those, okay? Uh, if you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments below because it can be a little tricky. You can also email me, eric at fortworthmusicacademy.com. Plus, check the link in the description for access to the tabs. Uh, on my blog page where it um, is not just on the screen, you have to pause the video. So if you wanna see it all kind of laid out on one page, check the link in the description. And by the way, this video is brought to us by Fort Worth Music Academy. Yes, my very own music school, because why not? I can sponsor myself. Uh, so if you are in need of extra help with your guitar playing, if you feel kind of stuck, if you feel like you're getting lost in the sea of YouTube videos and you want a personalized touch and you want to be able to ask questions because you can't really ask questions to a video. And even if you ask questions in the comments below, you know, how effective is it really if I type out an answer? If you want to Zoom with me, uh, if, if you live or if you live in the Fort Worth, uh, Dallas area and you want to come into the studio and, uh, and take some lessons, then check that out. Link in description as well, fortworthmusicacademy.com. All right, now that we got that out of the way, once the whole band comes in big, we're gonna crank up the distortion, go to our humbucker, and we're just gonna do open, seven. And we delay going to the seven. It's on the and of one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. So a little slower. And two and three and four and one and two and three. And that continues for the whole next verse, nice and big, just an open D add nine chord to an A chord. And then we get back to another chorus. It's the same as before, but now full on distortion. But you could also, um, you could also, you could, instead of going two, three, four, on that first chord, you go two, three, four, five. Not, not a huge difference there. So other than that, really the same as the first chorus. And then we get this really cool build. Instead of this, like before, now we're gonna kind of arpeggiate that and we're gonna do this. Before we head into the solo, five, 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 six, 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 four, 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 six, six. You only hit that six twice on the second string, and then four three times, and then our transition is two open notes. Five, 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 six, 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 four, 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 seven, seven, four, 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 two, two. <laughs> That's hard to do. And you can do that with all open strings. And then we do the same thing starting at the eighth fret. Only difference is we don't end with the two open notes. We just stay on that seven. And then we're gonna slide and go into the solo. Oh, 
okay, I'm not doing it justice. The wah pedal really makes a big difference on that solo. I'll try to record that at least as like a YouTube short later on, or maybe as a standalone like performance video of just the the solo. Um, but it's here's what we've got going on. We're gonna go 12 on the first string, or you can hit the first two strings 12, and then up to 17 on the first string. I like to add a little vibrato, but you don't necessarily have to. And then we drop down to seven. Third finger bends nine, a half step, and back to seven. So when you do that bend to nine, it's gotta be three separate notes. It's gotta be nine, half step bend, release, pull off seven. Like that. Don't go, it's not that, right? And then the second time we go to five, and then back to 17, and then again, and then back to five, and then 14, 12, seven, bend again, and then five, 17. So well, let me give it to you one more time. All right, and that's the solo to narcolepsy. I read Dead Russian authors' volumes at a time. This section goes um, open strings five, four, and three, and, and, uh, and a light palm. Here. So it's just open to seven, but then the second and fourth times through, we're gonna have this five in between. So open, seven, open, five, seven, open, seven, open, five, seven. And then we'll kind of uh, lay off the, the palm mute and continue that for the whole rest of this section. All right, and then we got a chorus with another build. Still. And then we slow down the tempo by about 20 beats per minute, which is really cool. And we're back to the intro, but with full-on distortion and vibrato. When you hit the 12s and the 17s, block all the other strings this time. Otherwise, it'll sound real muddy. We don't want that, we want and vibrato. You could really bar all uh, uh, six strings there if you wanted to, or just five, or just four. Here's four. Here's five. Here's six. So it kind of doesn't matter. As long as you borrow at least four of the strings, you could borrow four, five, or six. And at the very end, we just hit 12 on the first five strings. And gradually slide off into nothing. And then if you're familiar with the album, you know what comes next. Do deca deca deco. All right. <laughs> okay, so that's Narcolepsy by Third Eye Blind. I hope I did this song justice in explaining it well. There, there's really a lot going on. There are so many cool riffs. What is your favorite riff from this song? What's your favorite riff from this album? Oh my gosh, that would be a fun video to do. The top riffs of Third Eye Blind's self-titled album. Um, and uh, after this, I'm probably gonna do Motorcycle Drive-By, and we are going to do every single song from this album, and then I'll probably start on Blue. So this is gonna take some time to, to get through, um, but but stick with me. If, if you really love Third Eye Blind, we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do the first two albums in their entirety. Whew, I don't wanna put too much pressure on myself. Um, I'm not gonna put a time limit on that. I'm just gonna do it eventually. Anyway, so if you dig Third Eye Blind and 90s post-rock, post-grunge, whatever you wanna call it, this late 90s stuff as much as I do, be sure and like and subscribe. Stick around for more, and I will see you guys in the next time. <laughs>